Hello everyone, Susu Gamer here, and 10.70 update is finally out. We have a brand new PvP map, Crater. Objective is destroy all enemies or capture the single base. Hey guys, remember the space shuttle that was flying towards space in 9.55 update? I think it was in Broken Arrow map. Well, in my theory, this is the same space shuttle. After deploying booster and fuel tank, looks like it lost the control and crashed right in this location creating this big crater and meantime destroying the part of the bridge as you can see it's all clear that the space shuttle went right through here after crash nomad faction decided to scavenge this space shuttle and while scavenging they've been attacked by bandits by other factions i think this is the story about this map what do you think guys if you have your own theory about this map, type in the comment section. Let's see, can we climb on top of the bridge? Did they put an invisible wall there or not? Sprinter is a new cabin available in Engineer's Workbench. It's actually really cheap. It's cheap as Huntsman. Here's the stats compared to the Duster cabin. As always, we have buffs and nerfs. Let's check them out. Ghost cabin. Power increased by 7%. Tonnage increased by 9%. The maximum weight is increased by 9%. Hull cabin. Now the damage from the perk increases if there are enemies within a radius of 30 meters. Nice buff, really nice buff. Maximum damage bonus reduced from 25 to 20. Corvo. Firing rate increased by 20%. Gun accuracy increased by 10%. Plasma gun Quasar changed the physical model of the weapon. Can you see any difference, boys? Minigun Arbiter, now the maximum bonus damage from the perk is accumulated over 7 seconds. Reaper Minigun, weapon durability increased by 15%. Shotgun Hammerfall, change the perk again. Now it works as follows. Every 100 meters passed by the car, give one charge which is spent when fired and guaranteed to turn off the enemy's weapon rotation for half second. Maximum one charge. They're making this perks much more complicated for the sake of the balance. Plasma gun pulsar. No, not pulsar. Reload time increased by 11%. My favorite legendary weapon got nerfed. Ah, nothing to worry about. They will buff it in one year. Anyway, and as a last part, we have neutrino scope, the minimum zoom of sight increased by 8%. Anyway guys, I hope you're happy about buffs and nerfs. There is also some customization kit changes. I will drop a link in the description with much more detailed information. But basically that's it for today. For now let's enjoy this soccer match. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. And second go. Yay. Come on, let's win this. Oh, one enemy rage quit it. But there is still a chance that they're gonna win. Not all of the players can handle my overpoweredness. <laughs> And second one left as well. Okay. Like, do you even need to play anymore? <laughs> Just gonna harpoon you. And yeah, easy goes. <laughs> no, don't resist. 
Let us, let us end this. Here we go. <laughs> uh. Stop resisting! Oh shit. Kinda hard to turn when booster is activated. Get back here. <laughs> this is funnier than I imagined. Alright, GG boys. <laughs> okay. And yeah, I got free sticker. Yay. Apparently there's tons of decorations, paints and customization kits that you can win from this event. Some of them looking really great. So I suggest you to give this uh, event a try. Yeah, that's me when I learn about Pulsar Nerf. But yeah, guys, that's it for today. Don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this buffs and nerfs and this new map. The gameplay of it will be in next video. But I'm gonna see you next time. Peace out.